For much of this year, Metro Detroit's real estate market just went wild. Sellers could count on getting multiple offers, uh, often over the asking price. That's right. But on the other hand, buyers found it very difficult <laughs> to get any new home, much less the home of their dreams. But local Ford business editor Rod Maloney is here tonight to tell us that frothy market has calmed down a bit. Here is something we haven't seen in a while, a for sale sign that's been up in front of a house for a couple of weeks. In recent time, the sign either didn't make it up or the house gets sold the day the sign went up. So there is your change in the marketplace, but if you're still in the market for a house or looking to sell, what are the rules for you now? On the ground, we're seeing more contrast. The sold sign giving way to the ones touting a great kitchen or other amenities people haven't been so enamored of. In the industry, they look at the number of homes in any given market selling in 10 days or less. Real Estate One CEO Dan Elsey tells Local 4 the peak market happened back in April and has cooled a little bit since. And in that, we peaked at about 60% of the new homes coming to the market were selling in 10 days or less. Uh -huh. And now we're down to 38%. So if you're selling, things are different now, requiring reset expectations. It might be uh, wise now to that first offer that comes in to work on it pretty good rather than throwing it away for the next offer. And it's still tougher for the buyers. Yes, there were more homes to choose from, but much higher prices have pushed some buyers out of the market, particularly in the under $250,000 range. And sadly, buyers still have to stand on their heads, so to speak, when it comes to looking good to the seller. Had we not had the craziness, we consider this one of the best real estate markets ever, but still competitive. So they still need to have uh, themselves pre-approved and ready to go from a mortgage. They still need to be ready to give an, an aggressive offer in terms of making sure that they have some concessions for the seller. But interest rates are always important, and it looks like they're kind of tilting downward again, which could mean that things could heat up easily again this fall. In West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney. Local four. A frothy real estate market. That was some fine wordsmithery there, Mr. Maloney.